Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Old Dominion Monarchs and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Number 13 is the catalyst that can really get this team going. This is one of the few kids in the nation who can take over a game at the offensive and defensive ends of the floor. The Razorbacks will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Razorbacks should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Secondly, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And lastly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He gets it to fall. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. The Monarchs have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Here they come now on a turn. He's money with the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 7. He makes the block. The point guard takes the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. The fake. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He drains it. The shooting guard gets the pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the whole block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Arkansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. He looks at the hoop. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he'll kick it back outside. Dumps it in. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with it. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Here we go on the break. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Looking for a good shot. The center with the ball. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. He strips him clean. Buries it. That's an 11 nothing run.
keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And a momentary look from three-point land. Strips the ball. Carey goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. You got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. Old Dominion are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Preeny is pretty fired up and excited. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. For the bucket, makes the shot. And the ball goes out of play. Look to get it to the inside. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The power forward takes the feed. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. was tipped loose but the offense retains possession leaning in trying to draw contact fronts him first Dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us Stolen. He brought the ball back down to the floor and they stripped him. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Controlling the ball. Looking for a good shot. Trying to feed inside. The shooting guard gets the ball. Trying to go inside. From three-point land. He gets that one to fall. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Gave it up. With anticipation defensively. He attempts the trifecta. Old Dominion have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He fires it up. It's good. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Sets a screen for his teammate. He dials long distance. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Stop and pop. He shows the sweet touch. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Pressure's getting to him. Number 30 fakes the shot. He tries a jump hook. And in and out. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Gets a hand in the way. Gave it up. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground there. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They work the perimeter. Jump, count the hoop. That's goaltending. You're going to be seeing this one all week. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's some soul in the room. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Right, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. The double team. He fakes the shot. Get that sucker out of the game, man. A high screen. He takes it away. Well, while applying pressure, goes for the aggressive steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. And the fans here are loving the action. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Stolen away. A light steal attempt by the defense. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Kicks it out. Now the high screen. Knocks it down. Strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. for two. He gets the bucket. They work it around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. He bombs from outside. Both teams looking to get things going here. Power forward in the paint. He takes some pride on the defensive end. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, how's our focus player doing so far? I know it's a little bit earlier, but what are you seeing? I'll tell you, he's not doing it because he's taking bad shots, rushing everything, and it's really affected his team. That's why they're playing so poorly. Inside. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Working around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Nick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Gave it up, turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He 
shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. Double team now, bad angle. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Well, oh, there's no doubt. The frustration right there. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass with a deep pass looking for the foul they are red hot right now they're feeling it from everybody on the floor brad they're getting it from every spot on the court i'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box perfectly executed let's go to the instant replay camera There's the trap. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Working it around the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket. This one deserves another look, Brad. The quiet crowd says it all, Dick. They are just out of it. They haven't really had much to cheer about. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He unloads. That, ladies and gentlemen, might really silence this crowd. That basket's a backbreaker. He chose the right time to make that field goal. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. 
Picks off the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Moving it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They're working around the perimeter. High post screen, gonna use it. He gets the shot to fall. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And again, they look to run. He shoots from right of the circle. Scorches the net. They work the perimeter. Step out on that screener. Fake had a momentary look from three-point land. Drains the shot. He intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Jumped in front to take it away. He takes the shot from the baseline. Gets it to go. Tries for two. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Shoots. Drains it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Number 30 draws the personal. The Monarchs are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First shot is good. Shot, no good. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all.
Well, it's been a close one so far, Nick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? I picked this basket in a pay for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half, and I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Arkansas just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. He looks for the bomb. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside. There's the screen up on top. Good job defensively. They just don't give him any openings. Push on the basketball. Picked off. Got a guy right up on him. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Now they work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hat. Strips the ball. Here they go into the break. Great shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He gets another shot off and in. And this show's about to start, Brad. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Up and inside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. And now getting back the other way on the break. For two, Arkansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribble. Trying to draw the foul. It sticks. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. And they come with a double team to stop it. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Fakes it. And he'll kick it back outside. Steals the pass. Tries for two. It's good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For the bucket. 
I said he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Moving it around the perimeter. The small forward with the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Old Dominion have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'm telling you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when they do that. Number three steals the ball. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. Gave it up. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Taken away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Looking for a good shot. Got the shot if he wants it. He wants a three. Way off target. He throws it up from downtown. Rims out. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The center receives the pass. Oh, what a strip, Red. Fast break possibility coming for two. There was no doubt about that one. Intercepted. Looking for contact. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Here's a double team from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. The Razorbacks trail by nine. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes. Working it around the perimeter. There was no doubt about that one. He puts it up. He hits it. The Razorbacks are down by 12. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. 
Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. With the fake. Turnaround jumper. They still don't score. He puts up the three ball. He gets the bucket to fall. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Number three is going to the line. Makes the shot. On the outside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Razorbacks are trailing by ten. In. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Off the mark with that shot. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The inside looking for the foul drops the bucket despite the harm that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They work it around the arc. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brought in Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. For two. Perfectly executed. The Monarchs lead by 11. And an 
Momentary look from three-point land. Number 30 takes it away. The power forward gets the pass. Takes it off him. They get it out into transition. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Pick up the defense here now. He tries the three. He makes the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Looking for a good shot. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Dumont handles the pass. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. And he'll kick it back outside. He fires away. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Well, comes up with it. Arkansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts up the tray. He makes the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Got a nice screen and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Moving it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. He buries the shot. They worked the perimeter. Gave it up. Great defense. it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He puts up the tray. He's money with the shot. Looking for a good shot. 
Top of the circle they worked and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. There's a high screen. Face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. The rim and no good. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. And now they'll bring it up. They really need a score here to turn this into a two-possession game. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. He shoots from the top of the key. They let him get into a rhythm. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. They move it into the front court. Takes it off him. Shot clock is dead. Full court pass. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And the clock stopped with a foul. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. Hits his second. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. He dials long distance. Rims out. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first. He hits the second shot. They continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. He 
goes to the line. Misses the front end of the one and one. Got to get one on this possession, baby. start things up again. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. He attempts the trifecta. He couldn't get it to fall. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They go with bananas. He steps up to the line. his second shot. They call for a T.O., Dick. Hey, time is the worst enemy at this point, Brad. They're going to have to bear down and get some stops, then convert at the other end. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the steam's changed somewhat. Just hoping for the best. Off the rim and no good. Dick, you look back at our final focus player update of the ball game, and it's probably not what he was expecting tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Arkansas couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.